Hey everyone, quick by Chemistry Basics here. Let's talk about Meselson and Stahl's experiment. Watson and Crick had a hypothesis that the DNA replication was semi-conservative. However, there was no experimental evidence to test this hypothesis. So, to test this hypothesis, Meselson and Stahl in the year 1958 designed a wonderful experiment. Now, the word semi-conservative means each of the strands is going to act as a template for the synthesis of new strand. And to prove if this phenomenon is true or not, we must have a method to distinguish between the parent strand and the daughter strand. Yes, distinguish between parent strand and daughter strand. So, here is what Meselson and Charles did. They took E. coli wild-type cells and grew them in media containing N15 for several generations. N15 is a non-radioactive heavy isotope of nitrogen. The presence of N15 will make all the molecules in the cells, including the DNA, heavy. What does it mean by heavy DNA? It simply means if I take E. coli cells grown in N15 media, and subject its DNA to density gradient centrifugation, then the density of this DNA will be more than the density of the DNA taken from cells grown on N14 media. The cells grown in N15 media were collected and transferred in fresh N14 media. So as the cells divide, they incorporate N14, which is the normal isotope, into its DNA. The cells were harvested every 20 minutes and the DNA was isolated and subjected to density gradient centrifugation. Let's take a look at the results. The presence of only intermediate band after the first generation indicates that the heavy strand was acting as a template for the synthesis of new strand with N14 isotope. As the cells divide further, more and more N14 is incorporated into its DNA. These results indicate that the replication of DNA is semi-conservative.